we'll be talking about how to set up uh, and install LTT. Uh, so currently we distribute LTT as executables. In some circumstances we can share source code, um, but in that case um, I'll, I'll have to make a separate video of how to, how to compile. But anyway, if you're internal to Livermore, this is the page that you will see for the downloads and we have the LTT releases here and we have one for Windows, Windows without OpenCL, which I'll discuss this in a bit, and Mac and Linux, which runs on the Livermore supercomputers. Separately, you download the GUI, which are here, and we also have executables for Windows, Mac, and Linux, but we also offer the Python source code. So the, the GUI is written in Python, and it, um, it just makes calls to LTT as LTT is run as a dynamic library. So in that case, the, the, the GUI, we do release the Python source code. So if you have Python, um, you can just run it there, or you can run it in the pre-computable, the pre-compiled executables. Um, if you're external to Livermore, this is the download page that you will see, and you have similar links here to download uh, each of the versions of, of uh, LTT. So I already downloaded these, and they come as zip files. And so here we have the Mac version of LTT, and then we have here the Mac version of the pre-compiled uh, GUI. So to install, it's very easy. We just unzip these files. So just double click them, and there's LTT. And then now here's unzipping the GUI. And to make the GUI work, what you have to do is move the folder of the GUI inside the normal LTT folder. So I'll just click and drag this into here. And now here is the folder with the contents. So um, what you see here is here's the icon for LTT in case you want to put that in. Um, here's the ImageJ plugins. So ImageJ is an image viewer. And um, if you don't want to use the GUI, you can use these ImageJ plugins to do all your displaying of images. Uh, you basically just make calls to this directly from LTT. Then we have some install stuff, and this is LTT as a dynamic library. This is the actual execute of LTT. LTT server.py is a is a basically a Python wrapper that allows you to call LTT from Python, and this is what's used by the GUI to make it work. The next is the user's manual. It's about 250 pages. It does include a section on installation, which I encourage people to read because I'm only going to go over a subset of things. The next, this is the GUI, which I move this folder inside here. Then we have some MATLAB utilities. So <clears throat> LTT can be run from Python or MATLAB. And here's the stuff to make MATLAB work. In the miscellaneous folder, all we have right now is the um, uh, is a jar file that allows you to, uh, to take ALS H files and, and, um, and unpack them so that you can read them in LTT. This is just a notice document, it's legal stuff, this is the Python binding stuff, and then there's a few sample scripts and, and sample um, uh, phantoms. So anyway, let's set up LTT. And the reason why they're set up is there are a few default settings that you really should set uh, before running it. So to run LTT, we'll double click it. And if you're on Mac, you will probably see this. It says LTT can't be opened because it is from an unidentified developer. So we, we haven't quite identified ourselves to Apple yet. So the way you do this is you just override it. There's no problem with this. Um, so what you do is you, you hold down the command key while clicking. Oh, oh sorry, it's the control key, sorry. And then you go open with terminal. And then it's gonna say, are you sure? And then I just say open and then it launches LTT. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit this. But from now on, when you double click LTT, it'll, it, it's, it's recorded as being safe so you can launch it. So anyway, here we are, we're, we're inside LTT. And the first thing I'm gonna do, as it's suggesting here, <clears throat> warning, please run the setup, is I'll type, type setup. And it's gonna go through a few questions. And at first it's gonna say, okay, you're going to follow a few prompts, and it's going to make a file called lttdefaults.cfg that contain your defaults. I want to continue, yes. The first question is, um, how much memory, how much CPU memory will you allow LTT to use? So 
this is important. So if you choose a number too large, you run the risk of LTT crashing because what happens is if you say, oh, LTT can use all of the RAM in my computer, well, it will try to use all the RAM. So, um, you know, your operating system and other things need RAM, so it could crash. But if you choose a number too small, then LTT may force you to write the result from every algorithm to disk. And writing more results to disk will slow things down, so you want to set it to some moderate level. So here, all this text is basically saying that, and it's reminding you your system has 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm going to say LTT can use 12 gigabytes. Press enter. The next thing it's saying is um, LTT um, you know, can use ImageJ to display images, but LTT needs to know where ImageJ is. So this is optional. If you want to skip this, just press enter and go through it. But mine is in applications and image J. So I'll press enter. And by the way, if you entered something that wasn't right and you press enter, it would say, I didn't find it. Try again. Anyway, the next one says, um, where is LTTW? So LTTW means LTT workflow. That's the GUI. Um, and you would just put the GUI path here. And the reason for that is if you're in the console application version of LTT, you can actually launch the GUI from the console app uh, to display images. For now, I'm just going to skip that. Um, and I don't want to try again. Um, but you would just type in the path there. And then now it's asking, do I want, OK, so LTT writes things in either SDT or TIFF file formats. And those are the only two formats that are kind of standard. It supports a few others, but that's mostly them. So it's saying, do you want to force LTT to write out a certain type? So I'm going to say yes, and I'm going to say TIFF, T-I-F. So S by the way, you know, TIFF is a standard format. SDT is an internal Livermore format. I prefer the TIFF because everyone can read them, so I'll put TIFF. The next it's saying, do you want to use the GPU? So the GPU algorithms in LTT make things run much, much faster than CPU. And LTT can use one or more uh, GPUs to speed things up. So I'm going to say yes. And then it's going to spit out all the information that, that it found on my computer. So it first it found my CPU, which is fine. And then next it found two GPUs. The first one is um, an Intel uh, graphics card that's on the CPU. It's actually a pretty decent card. The next one it found was the AMD Radeon Pro. Um, now, if I wanted to do both, I would say 1, 2, because I want GPU 1 and GPU 2. Now, LTT can use many GPUs, but it performs the best if both the GPUs are approximately equivalent in their performance. Um, if they're not exactly um, matched, it's still good to use both. But if there's a big disparity in the in the, basically the computational power, there are some cases where you don't want to use the really weak card. So that's actually the case here. So I'm just going to say I want GPU two, and I'll press enter. Now it looks at that GPU and says, OK, that GPU can handle up to a gigabyte of RAM. How much RAM will you allow it to use? I usually just do the maximum here. Um, so I'm going to say one gigabyte. And now we're done. So if we go into the folder here, we will see that it made lttdefaults.cfg. And now every time LTT is launched, which I'll exit here, and I'll launch LTT, you see those commands are given right here. So it's setting everything for me. So every time I run it, those will automatically be set for every run in the future. And that also applies to the GUI. Um, and so that file is just a list of commands. So these are real LTT commands. So actually, what you could do with this file is I can add in whatever defaults that I want to uh, here to <clears throat> so that it runs on them each time. OK, now let's launch the GUI, and that's LTTW dot, L, yeah, LTTW, so I'll double click on it. Again, it gives me the warning, so I type control click, why is it 
working. Oh, it has to be over the text. Okay, then I say terminal, and I say open because I trust it. And this is it launching. So the first time you launch it, it takes a little while. It has to set up some files. So this is the GUI, but notice that it, it opened a terminal window. And basically what it's showing you here is that really the GUI is being is driving LTT in the background. So all the commands that you do in this GUI, you'll see them appear here um, as all the LTT commands. So like you can see here, this was the part where it was um, it was running the, the default commands. And so you could check back here for status updates of what LTT is doing in the background and, and things like that. So anyway, here's the GUI. And I'll have other uh, videos that talk about um, the GUI. But the basic setup is this. is the, the top window here. By the way, all these windows are removable. Um, the top window here is the actual workflow window. So this guides you through the process of running algorithms. So you enter your information. You type next, next, next and you follow all the steps in the processing. On the right here, this is where all your main images are displayed. And then in the bottom left, you have a bunch of different tabbed windows here that do different things. This one handles most of your display stuff. This one plots your histogram and changes your, your display window. This one's all about plotting profiles. And the display controls does a lot of different things. Um, anyway, that's basically uh, the installation process, we're done uh, for LTT. One comment that I would make is that as you saw on the install page, there are, you would see these things that say Windows without OpenCL. So OpenCL is the library that we use to do our GPU processing. You don't need it to run LTT, but without OpenCL, you won't have any GPU capabilities and it will run not so fast. Um, so we highly recommend people install the OpenCL library in order to uh, allow LTT to use your GPU. It's well worth your time. Instru instructions on how to install this library are in the user's manual. But we do offer a version just for Windows that doesn't rely on OpenCL in case users really don't want to be put through the hassle of installing that. It's a really basic library and it's not hard to install, but we offer this anyway. Um, Mac computers always come with OpenCL installed on default, so there's no problem there. And then um, Linux, you they aren't part of the standard distribution. They are the standard distribution on LC, so on LC you don't have to worry, it's already there. Um, but that's it. So LTT, like I said, it's just a couple double clicks and you're in, and you may or may not have to install OpenCL, but um, otherwise it's pretty easy.